Um, this is Peter Lanton. Uh, we're very honored to have him speak here today. And I do not want to pronounce his hiding name because I don't want to make a mistake. Hello, Jennifer. Good afternoon, everybody. Hereditary chiefs, matriarchs, women held in high esteem. I'd like to acknowledge and give thanks to the Sinchan Nation for allowing us to gather in support of the Idol of No More movement this afternoon. Diu al Haralga, Gayaf as Musudi Kolaga, Kunanis the Egypt. Ethel Jones, the non, who eat him. Tilly Orr, the owl, who eat him. Kil Tlatska, he knew the kill. My name is Peter Lanton, and I'm the newly elected president of the Haida Nation. My Haida name is Kil Tlatska. I am Raven from the Kunlanis clan, an old massive Haida Gwai. This is a very interesting first public speaking event for me uh, over in the mainland. And I'll be very honest with you, as elected leadership speaking in I don't know more movement events, in some people's opinion, is risky. And as an elected leader, I know how that feels to contemplate whether or not we have a voice at events like this because of it being a grassroots movement. I'm not going to overanalyze it, I'm young here, and I'm very happy to be here. On behalf of the Haida Nation, we support this movement. We show our support by joining all the other First Nations of the North Coast, by uniting to help increase awareness of what this movement means to not only First Nations, but to all Canadians. The Council of the Haida Nation respects this grassroots movement. And because of this, we do not wish to use this movement to shed a positive light upon us as an official government of the Haida Nation. As citizens of the Haida Nation, we as individuals stand alongside our neighbours to help increase awareness of the significantly undemocratic undemocratic practices that erode our abilities to continue to exist as sovereign nations. The Haida Nation has a history of making stances when we believe in something that is sacred to us is being threatened by forces that do not understand our connection and reliance on the health and well-being of our forests and oceans. Lyle Island was our Idle No More movement. We felt the strength of what being united support, in support can feel like and what the support can mean towards ensuring a message is received. This movement is empowering thousands of First Nations people young and old alike, to not only stand up for what we feel is right, but also become more aware and knowledgeable of exactly what is happening with this current government approach to passing legislation that affects our well-being in a harmful manner. Bill C-45 is weakening environment, environmental protection of our waters. The same waters we have navigated for thousands of years and has allowed us to become neighbors with deep-rooted alliances with one another. It is fitting that we are here gathered during the all-native basketball tournament. It is our modern-day ability to unite as First Nations people from all over the province, which we can acknowledge is very powerful. This is only using basketball as a means to gather. Imagine what would be needed if this trend continues of not consulting with First Nations on legislative issues such as land management, and environmental protection continues. This movement has gained the attention of the Harper government, but will it stop them? I'm not here to contemplate that answer, but I do feel strongly that the First Nations and the coastal communities will unite in this time of need, and that necessary action will occur to protect what we believe we are standing for, which is a way of life, a traditional belief that we must protect our forests and oceans and everyone must protect these ideals, values, and principles. The support that the Haida Nation received over 25 years ago can be reciprocated in this time of need. The Haida Nation will stand united with this movement to ensure 
that we all continue in our journeys of being sovereign nations. Any laws or legislation that affects our ability to achieve sovereignty must include our engagement in consultation. The Haida Nation position will not change. We have played a significant role in entrenching the duty to consult. We will continue to play this role. It is an honor today to join our special guests, Bridget and Takaya, as well as everyone who marched in this beautiful Prince Rupert weather for such an important cause. On behalf of the Haida Nation, I say how up for inviting me to speak. I hope to stand together with the great nations of the North Coast to bring awareness to the Idle Memorial Movement. Hello.